Dakota Keys, Andy Lip here, back with another advanced OBS tutorial, and yes, I've got some new goggles. I can actually see what I'm doing for once, can you believe it? Unbelievable, Jeff. Unbelievable. So, we're looking at the future today, or what Star Trek thought was the future, all about voice commands, and controlling OBS just with our voices. So, here's a bit of an example for you. Pull desktop. Computer. What's the time? The current time is 10 hours, 53 minutes, and 33 seconds. Cheers, Doug. You're welcome, Andy, my beautiful master. Full screen. <laughs> Getting a little bit flirty with the computer there. So as you can see, you could see that I had it open and uh, I actually got things in OBS to turn on, like saying the time, doing text-to-speech. There's so much that you can do with this. It is so powerful. This is going to be great for anybody with any accessibility needs that can't use a keyboard and mouse. Uh, you can activate everything on your stream with just your voice, so anybody can be a streamer. It's so powerful. And you could just make your stream look cool. Or even if you're building and you're away from the PC. Honestly, possibilities are endless with this one. Let's just get into it. Put your rock over the stone. Let's go. Right, so there's a few different things that we need to download here, depending on what you want to get out of it. So I'm going to talk through the, the three different kind of voice assistants that you can use, and they are as followed. You've got VoiceBot. This is a paid one, but you do get a 30-day free trial, and there is a, uh, a limited version as well. There's also Voice Attack, which again is a paid one, but there is a free trial as well for that. But today, I'm going to go through Voice Macro. This one is completely free you just download it I mean it's I can't see much difference between the other two and this one I think it's just personal preference everything that you just saw happen in the intro has been done with voice macro so we're gonna download this one so if you download the installer just here yes it is only for Windows at the minute okay so you'll have to download this installer just here get that all downloaded and run the exe file to get it installed I'm not gonna go through that step because I'm sure you guys know how to install a program the other thing that we're gonna get is the command line tool for OBS WebSocket. And this is basically uh, the commands that we're gonna to send to OBS to control OBS. But I'm gonna show you other ways that we can do that as well. So make sure you've got OBS WebSocket installed as well as that, okay? So we're gonna need three pieces of software. I'm gonna put all the links in the description below so there's nothing to worry about. Just get them all installed, okay? So the only one that you don't really need to install is the OBS command line, because that is just a folder on its own with an application in there. As you can see, if I double click this, it actually runs through some of the details surrounding what this does. It'll show you commands and everything on there. If I press any key to continue, there's a load more commands as well just there. So we don't need to worry about that. We're basically going to send commands to that application from Voice Macro, and then that'll push that information to OBS. Okay, so we need to open up Voice Macro now. So down in the uh, the bottom left go to start wherever you've installed it and um, voice macro right click on it press more and run as administrator because it does recommend that so it's got all the privileges to make sure it can run everything okay but for this video I'm just gonna open it as standard because it stops me using some shortcuts that I use uh, to make the, the videos better such as zoom so once we're inside here you'll be able to see that if you are running it as administrator already it'll uh, be absolutely fine it won't say any of this avoid issues or anything it'll just say welcome uh, welcome to voice macro all that jazz so we can get started by creating a profile so we just need to hit edit just here and you'll see just in this section we've got this blank window we're just going to press add new once we add new you'll see this profile name just here i'm going to type in test profile for now this can be a different profile for every application that you use but we're just going to be using obs now so i'm just going to show you this one instance the window uh, target window is basically as soon as a certain window is open, say if you're in a game and I open up the game, it's going to change to the, the voice macro uh, profile for that game. So if you've got multiple set up, it can automatically switch between the, the few of them. So you don't have a bunch of commands that only work generically around your desktop, okay, if that makes sense. Uh, I'm just going to press OK for now because we're just going to be using OBS and basically it doesn't matter what window is open. I always want to make sure I can do my voice commands for OBS. So we're going to start adding some commands. So if I press add new just here on this macro, 
You'll have a load of different selections that you can do. You've got voice commands, you can do keyboard and mouse uh, commands, everything like that. So it's like a huge macro set. It doesn't just have to be a voice command. We're going to take voice command and we need to give the voice command a name. This is going to be what we're going to say. So I'm going to say, type in uh, test command. So if I say test command, whatever this macro has in it, it's going to run. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to show you is how I did some of them... Uh, the sound so when I said computer it made that little beepy sound uh, that was just a little effect that I threw in there just for the fun of it and to do that I pressed other just here went down to play sound and then pressed this little uh, three dots here the ellipsis and then I've opened up any mp3 file so I've got the uh, Star Trek um, sound just there and I can choose the volume everything like that press ok you can press test and that'll test if it is running. As you heard it, it did work. Press OK and press save. Test command. So sometimes you can see it's recognizing my whole speech just here and it will probably stop when I stop this sentence. Test command. Test command. So as you can see, it plays every single time. So we can go back in. That's how we can do basic sound effects. So if you want to, I don't know, have a cheer, cheer or something like that. Or like, can we, can we get a cheer for somebody? You can have that set up and it'll start clapping or whatever you want to do for that. So you can run all your sounds through there. So I'm going to jump back into edit again. And we're going to edit this test command this time. And I'm going to show you the keyboard option. So on our test command, we can add a keyboard shortcut so this is what i was using i was actually triggering things in leoran board so for the time for instance i'm gonna set the uh, command to be control left control left alt and i think i had it on for f9 so when i press um uh, left control and left alt and f9 it'll automatically play whatever is that key binding so if I go into Leoran board now, just going to delete the other command, jump into Leoran board and I can have a little look what I've got. So pull current time is button ID 39. Press done. And I'm going to go into trigger shortcut. So whichever's 39, so it's control, alt, F9. So anytime control, alt and F9 is pressed, this will automatically play, which is the get the current time. Uh, command if you want to know how I did the whole command let me know and I'll do a video uh, Leon board video for that so If I press uh, minimize just here press test The current time is 11 hours 5 minutes and 43 seconds So it plays just like that press ok Press save again, and then I can test the actual command via the voice test by using the um, the, the, uh, the voice command that we set up there's a lot of commands test command the current time is 11 hours, 6 minutes and 2 seconds. So just like that, I'm running a script and that is just basically running a hotkey inside of this voice macro. There are even more things that we can do in there. So as I told you about this OBS command um, thing that we've installed just here, we can send information to that and that sends it directly into OBS. Okay, so if we go to edit once more, I'm going to delete this command and add a new command. Remember, you don't have to keep editing the command. You can make as many different commands as you want. It's completely unlimited, this one. You don't have to pay for any of this software at all. So I'm going to create a voice command. I'm going to call this one test command again. Just so we've got, like, a, a standard. And then this time, we're going to press other. And we're going to go to, adver where is it? Execute slash open a file. So the file that we want to open is going to be the... Uh, the OBS command.exe. So I've saved mine to my desktop, so you need to remember where you save it to. And we need to make sure we press OBS command and it's the application. So we're just going to double click on that. And that'll fill the file to open and the working directory and everything like that. That's fine. And now we need to send some arguments. So this is the information that we're going to send to OBS command.exe. So I'm going to type in OBS command.exe followed by space and then a slash so I'm gonna open up our uh, other OBS just here and as you can see I've got scene 2 and I've got a cam scene with a webcam input just here I'm gonna turn that off for now uh, as you can see I've got a desktop on there as well so we've got we want to change scene so I'm gonna type in slash scene equals 
as you can see just here. And the scene I'm going to use is cam, which I've got down at the bottom. And then just press OK. And I press test. And as you can see, it has changed scene to the cam scene. Obviously, there's nothing on there right now. But you can see in the bottom left, we've changed it over to that scene. So that's the same if I press OK and press save. Test command. You can see it changes just there. Super simple to do, and that is just a standard kind of scene change. We can go even further with this now. So if I press edit once more, and go back into this command that we created, double click into the action, and I can start adding some more stuff. So I want to change it to the cam scene, but then I want something else to happen. I want it to turn that source that we had on. So if I go to the cam scene, we can see it's called webcam input. So I'm gonna do a space at the end of this, slash, but I want it to delay. I don't want it to turn on straight away. So I'm going to type in slash. <laughs> don't have dogs and try and film, okay? Uh, slash delay equals. I'm going to give it two seconds just here. And then I'm going to do a slash again. Uh, well, a space, then a slash. And I'm going to do source. Uh, show source equals. And then we're going to type in webcam input. But because this has got a space in there, we actually need to put some speech marks. So that's usually on shift 2. And I'm going to type in webcam space input. You need to make sure it looks exactly the same as that. Same spacing, same everything. Okay, so capitalization, everything like that. And then do some close speech marks as well. So it should look something like this. OBS command exe slash uh, space then slash scene equals cam so it's going to change the cam scene it's going to wait two seconds with the slash delay there and then show source webcam import i'm going to press ok and then press test so as you saw just there it did work i'm going to hide this input i'm going to press ok first then save hide the input pull this up so you can see what's happening Test command. So we've changed scene. And changed to the webcam import and turned it on. See, how cool is that, right? There's so many things that you can do. And you can keep adding as many different commands to that as you want. You will probably notice, though, on your WebSocket, in the bottom uh, right-hand corner, it will keep popping up and saying, oh, connection successful, and then disconnected on WebSocket. To sort that out, because mine's not showing it, we need to head up to Tools at the top just here, because I am a tool, and go to WebSocket Server Settings. Once in there, you'll see Enable System Trait Alerts. We want to make sure that that is not on because it, then it'll stop going boo -doo -doo, boo -doo -doo -doo, boo -doo -doo, and all the time, every time it runs a command. The next thing that we can think about doing, because you, you would have seen if I do this command again, test command, you'll see this big black box that's popping up, which is the actual command running in uh, command prompt. To turn that off, we need to go back into edit once more, double click in the command, double click in the action, and then you see this window style just here, sorry about the dog, click it and press hidden. Press OK, press OK, press save. It's like done, 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 isn't it, Bongo? Yeah, I'm talking to you, Bongo. Test command. So you can see it has run the command and it's actually not displaying that box on there anymore. All right, I think I've kind of blown your mind enough with this. Just play around with it. Come up with some cool things. If you want me to cover the other pieces of software uh, for voice commands, please let me know in the comments below. I will get around to it. Uh, I mean, if there's any cool things that you create with this, let me know. If you do want to support the content, I, I honestly keep pumping out as much content as I can. So many videos at the moment. Uh, join us over at Patreon or consider pressing the join button and become a channel member today. Sorry about the dog. Sorry about me. It's just how it is, all right? Put your rock over the stone. I'll see you in the next one. Much love. I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time, make it free for you guys. And also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.